4-10. The Norris Staples power and speed, well-disciplined, piercing jab, wicked left hook, steady right, throws a lot of punches. Good technician, terrific counterpuncher, very adaptable. He's got a terrific package, likes to hit people on the way down, as Pat Lawler mentioned to us in our interview yesterday. Told us after watching tapes of Lawler, he's a boxer who might be a little scared. Norris said, I'm looking forward to Lawler coming out to try and knock me out. I'll take it to him and pressure him with body shots. We'll see. Well, Lawler doesn't look scared. He looks a little apprehensive. He's fighting jittery right now. Uh, wide open stance. I don't know what that's. That may be good for hitting a home run. That's not too good for boxing. Look at that stance, by He's trying to get his legs under him, almost to prepare himself for the shock of getting hit. Yeah. Lawler told us he plans to stay in the center of the ring, which is exactly what he didn't do against John Jackson two fights ago for the WBF. Oh, junior middleweight title. That was a night to forget for Lawler, and down he goes. This might be another night to forget. He might start going back to the corners again. Now it's just survival time for Irish Pat Lawler. There's just such a huge disparity in talent here, but Pat Lawler's a brave guy who's going to give it his all. I just don't think his all can be enough. Not even close. Not against the quality of Terry Norris. And Norris looking to put Lawler away here in the first round. He's a great finisher, is Norris. Very fast hands, and boy, what dynamite in those fists. Well, he was certainly right on the mark against Pat Lawler telling us he would be apprehensive and scared in the early going. Here's a left hand by Norris. Pat Lawler right now is just in a defensive mode. He's in a survival mode. And, I, you know, it's just a matter of time. It really is. Oh, another left. Lawler smiling. But that had to hurt. He was rocked. He smiled, but his eyes rolled up in his head. And he was hurt. And he's hurt right now. A shooting gallery for Terry Norris in the first round. What's in here? What's in here? Solid shot to the body. Now Norris working upstairs with the right and the left. And down goes Norris slipping after throwing a right. The impact of that swing took him to the canvas. Well, Lawler can tell his grandchildren he had terrible Terry down on the canvas. What? Lawler, a most engaging personality, real nice guy, but looks to be in over his head, well over his head, bleeding from the mouth, and that's it for round one. A nightmare for Lawler. You can't have a clearer demonstration of the difference in class. Leonard, Durant, Benitez, Curry, and Taylor, although Leonard, Durant, and Benitez were way past their prime. Lawler beating Benitez and Duran. Well, we certainly, we did this, the Sugar Ray Robinson fight, I mean Sugar Ray Leonard fight, let me tell you, I would love to have seen Sugar Ray in his prime fight Norris in his prime. That would have been a, a, I mean, just a wonderful exhibition of boxing because, I mean, Sugar Ray Leonard and him would have been just maybe, warm. Maybe you're accurate in saying Sugar Ray Robinson too. I'd love to see either Sugar Ray. I, I'm afraid I saw Sugar Ray in too many fights to put him into that category. That guy was terrible to fight. Lawler looking to survive after being put to the canvas in the first round. Lawler has lost two in a row, while Norris is riding an 11 fight winning streak. Norris is just having a little fun now. You know, he's not really trying to bury him this second. He's just taking his time. He's getting a little work. He's got the left hook right on the money every time he throws it. And Norris probably fought the perfect fight against Sugar Ray Leonard. That he did. Well, Lawler seems to be fighting with a guy that has a great deal of assurance. The referee told him, he assures him he's there for his safety and he's not going to let him take a big beating. When you have that kind of escape clause, you figure, well, I can take it easier. The referee's going to help me. And now, Norris pressing the attack against the ropes. Lawler able to get out. Lawler with blood dripping from above the left eye. Well, Lawler's credit. He's, he's throwing some punches back. He's actually making an effort. He's not just trying to survive and ward off the, uh, the uh, attacks of Norris. He's trying to land some punches. Lawler very realistic. He lost his last fight in Tokyo to a fighter named Hitoshi Kamiyama. He says, look, I've got myself in shape since then, and I'll just do my best against Norris. 
and try to surprise him. But uh, nothing doing in that area as of yet. There are no surprises here. No. Quality will out. He's having a much better round than he did in the last round, to his credit. But again, he just doesn't have the talent of a Terry Norris. I like Lawler's uh, mind. He hopes to come forward and rough up Norris. But then he added, sometimes you make plans and don't always stick to them. Yeah, it's hard to carry out those plans when you're laying on the floor. Okay. Well, I think somebody forgot to tell Norris about the plan. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Look out. Joe Cortez getting in the way. Referee acting as a backstop. <laughs> Norris just measuring Lawler out. And a heavy combination to the head by Norris. Lawler's in trouble in the corner. Lawler's trying to use the same counter hook that dropped him on Norris, but the effects are nowhere near the same. Oh. Joe Goosen and Arlen Norris Sr. working the corner there. Terry uh, Norris recently let his trainer Abel Sanchez go, telling us, hey, my dad's been in my corner 18 years. He may be who I am. Sanchez was there three years and took the credit. So out went uh, Sanchez. It's amazing that they let uh, Lawler come out with all that um, Vaseline. Yeah, that's not Vaseline, cement. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I don't think that, uh, you know, that will stay on too long anyway with the punches, but they usually don't let you get by with that. I mean, that's a whole load of uh, cement up there. Well, as the uh, referee said before, he was there to protect him, and if that'll help a little bit, so be it. Come on, come on, come on, back here. And Lawler says, come on. Give me some more. Showing a little macho here. Pushes Norris back with a right. <laughs> Norris, though, he just looks like he's toying with Lawler. Toying and destroying. Norris is going to want him to jab a little more, and he hasn't really jabbed that much, but he almost doesn't have to. Norris continues to land, and a right to the body by Norris. Well, Lawler's got guts, but very little business to be in the ring with a guy with this much savvy. I'll tell you one thing, he's showing a lot more action, at least, than he did against John David Jackson for the WBO title two fights ago. I don't know if he's showing action. He's the one that's receiving the action. The action is coming from Lawler. But I don't know if you saw that fight. At least he's moving around. He kept going into the corners, and now he's really in trouble getting rocked. But he survives. The mouthpiece went flying out of Lawler's mouth moments ago. I'll tell you, he's one tough customer. He's taking punch upon punch, and he's still offering something back. He's no more mouthpiece. He's cut. He has every reason in the world to quit, but he wants to fight. And now there's a, a stoppage that Joe Cortez goes over to the Lawler corner so he can get his mouthpiece back. Boy, look at that guy walking in slow motion <laughs> to, to uh, clean off that mouthpiece. He is not in a hurry. Look at this calm, deliberate. A much-needed rest for Lawler. Meanwhile, Norris bouncing around in his corner and ready to go right back to work. Well, and those kind of dream fights that you think about, Bobby, think about him with Chavez. Think about this pent-up dynamo here with, with Chavez. What a fight that's going to be if it gets to be made. Well, I'll tell you, I think he's just a little too big for Chavez. Greatest Chavez is 140 pounds. Here's 154 of oh, almost, if not oh, equal on, talent. I think that's just a little too much to ask. Well, we'll see. He's got to lose weight to come down, Bobby. That's going to be another little factor. Of course, he's ended the career of many a great fighter. He just may be that he's waiting for the biggest of all, Chavez. Ooh. Big right hand by Norris. Blood all over the face of a game. Pat Lawler hanging in there. Final 10 seconds of third. Lawler taking a beating. Will he make it through this round? This may be stopped in the corner. This may be stopped by the corner. A blistering attack by Terry Norris as the bell sounds. Joe Cortez, and rightly so. 